Khan, the experienced Zahir Khan, but the Indians are well settled, only just the one change, which is a forced change because of the injury of Nera. Now you see the two umpires, Alim Dar, Simon Taufun, two very experienced and seasoned umpires out here for this game. And looking from the outside, uh, David Lloyd, what's your feeling? Yeah, good afternoon, Ravi, good afternoon, everybody. Well, it's a world-class venue and world-class teams. These are two heavyweights, make no mistake about that. Both captains will know the conditions. Uh, as you say, I'm an outsider and I'm looking at this and I think this is very much about the captains, how they handle the team, how they handle the bowlers, field changes. And there's one superstar, MS Dorney. But Sangakara winning the toss and batting first, you can't help but think that uh, that is a big advantage for Sri Lanka. Now, can they play? And they've got their two explosive openers out there. Let's not forget the uh, local boy. This might well be his last one-day international. But uh, Taranga and Tilakaratna Dilchan will be the two openers uh, for Sri Lanka. They've often given Sri Lanka flying starts. They complement each other very well. One a left-hander, 115 matches. And he's been in uh, good form in, in this World Cup. And this man, Tilakaratna Dilshan, in even better form. 34 years of age, uh, really, is uh, as explosive a player as you can get at the top of the order. Look at that strike rate, 87.7. Good conversion rate as well. And for India, it will be their spearhead. Zahir Khan will start the proceedings. He's got 19 uh, wickets in this World Cup. And it's the most by any Indian bowler in a single World Cup tournament. 5 for 42, his best. Just waiting for the umpires to say play. Simon Toful uh, says that. And all in readiness for play to start. Here's Zahir Khan, Taranga on strike. And the nerves will be jangling there. Not just of the two opening batsmen, even Zahir Khan as he runs in. He'll be feeling the butterflies as would these two gentlemen, Simon Tauful and Alim Dar, in spite of being experienced. This is a huge occasion for them as well. It's a huge occasion for everybody. Straight away, a little bit of extra bounce that we all expected from the pitch. And you will get some movement as well. This is typical Mumbai, close to the sea. There will be a gentle breeze blowing across the ground. And the carry will be good to Dhoni when the ball is hard and new. Well, the game set up beautifully. All the players will have been itching to start. Get rid of the hype, get out there onto the field. Zahir Khan flashes one past the outside edge. There might just be a little bit of carry with the new ball. Two slips in place. I was here 10 days ago, uh, Ravi, when Sri Lanka took on New Zealand. Conditions were similar. It's just that the wicket's looking browner. It had more grass in that game and New Zealand, the taller New Zealand bowlers did get a lot of bounds. Yes, this is coming towards the end of the season in any case in Mumbai. In the month of April. Much drier, it's much warmer out there, very humid. Well, we're all very envious the 22 players who will be out there in this game. Everybody in the commentary box, ex-players, everybody in cricket around the world want to be out there. We all want to be playing. It must be fabulous for these guys. First runs on the board. Buys uh, will be signalled. Again, good carry. India going in with uh, three fast bowlers.
Just a little bit of late swing, kind of a wobble. Got Dhoni in trouble. It's Dilshan on strike. Oh, this is where you felt something's going to give. He's been itching to get on strike. First boundary of the final. Well, it's taken 31 balls. But Dilshan was waiting for that. He's been standing out there. He's had a feel for the bounce. Just helps it on its way. And he can second guess this next delivery because somebody will be in his ear. Sri Sattler saying, pitch the ball up. You can bet your life this next delivery will be foolish. Well, uh, he's been given uh, a tough field on the onside. Fine legs up, in fact, coming into a catching position. The leg slip, leg gully, there's a man deep at square leg on the boundary. Looking for the big stroke on the up. You do have to be precise with your length. It doesn't have to be all that short, but on this track, it will bounce and sit up. And the last ball, 145.3. So Srishant bending his back. Getting the ball to go through nicely. It's been a long time since an Indian bowler has bowled at 145.3. Cuts and cuts hard. That's typical Delshan. An opportunity to free his arms. And that's a race away to the boundary. Well, it's just a touch of width. We've seen him play these stand and deliver shots, and this time it flashes to the boundary. Yeah, he's just standing there. The first real loose ball of the game. It's a jam packed stadium now. There's uh, one career stadium in Mumbai. 17 for no loss in the commentary box. Sanjay Majdraka, Tom Moody and Saurabh Ganguly. Thank you, Ravi. Edge and taken. A good catch at first slip. Pace and bounce and this time movement too for Zahir Khan. Gets the outside edge. And they've claimed Upul Taranga. Sawag, the catcher. He's a wide first slip, diving inside towards the keeper, taking a very sharp catch. Tarunga's threatened on a few occasions to find the edge, and on this occasion, he was successful, but the Indians even more successful in taking the catch. Very good bowling by Zahir Khan. Gets his man, Tarunga gone for two. Sri Lanka, 17 for one. Kumar Sangakara is the new batsman, the captain of Sri Lanka bats at number three. It's a class act, plenty of experience. In form as well in this tournament. Career average of 37, over 400 runs in this tournament. And as you would expect, there's some noise in the background, so <laughs> there's some good news for India. India claimed a wicket, and at the moment, Zahir Khan with unbelievable figures. Three overs, three maidens, and a wicket. Sangakara on strike. And the captain's away. Kumar Sangakara off the mark and the first run of Zahir Khan who has bowled superbly well here finding the edge of Upal Taranga and Vrinda Sewag at slip not making a mistake there it's not the time to be making mistakes in finals very sharp catch and a well deserved wicket by the champion left armour lovely shot the Sangakara cover drive he just goes down on his knee. It's a very unique cover drive that he plays, Kumar Sangakara. 